I do think that other people knew. Do you have any regrets about not calling the police on Paul Adams? Absolutely. Because things could have gone better a lot earlier. Who should be held accountable for this? Someone has to pay the price for the enormous damage done to these children. I was trying to make it hard. Who doesn't want to protect just every kid that's there? And maybe if changes happen, maybe there won't be another one where, that suffers five more years because of this. So. Sorry. <laughs>
They just said, hey, let's excommunicate her father. It didn't stop. Let's have them go to therapy. It didn't stop. Hey, let's forgive and forget, and this will all go away. It didn't go away. They just let it keep happening. Finally, in 2017, he was arrested by the Department of Homeland Security after New Zealand police arrested a child pornographer and found the video that Paul Adams had made on his cell phone. We could tell from the accent it wasn't Canadian, it was American, so we could narrow it down pretty quickly. It was quite good that they were able to do something with this video and track it down to uh, Mr. Adams, but that's not always the case. Again, I'm not, I'm not trying to sh shift blame. I'm not trying to say, oh, I couldn't control myself. But I, I do have a problem. Yeah. And, and I, I couldn't make myself stop. Um, I, you know, permanently. Yeah. I would stop sometimes. And I, again, I'm not trying to say, you know, that made me do it. No. She said she knew for seven years and she didn't do anything about it because the bishop said for her to not do anything, let's forgive and forget Paul, but nothing changed. The more I knew, the more I wanted to help her fight this fight that she didn't even know she was having to fight yet. My ultimate goal is to help her heal. She has a lot of problems. But she's come a long way. She has come a very long way. And she is an amazing, amazing girl and smart and funny. Yeah. I couldn't personally continue providing tithing money to a tie to a church that would allow children of any age be abused without trying to put methods in place to prevent it. What I think we all want for justice in this case is for churches to start immediately reporting sex abuse to the police, not to each other. No in-house secrets. When that's pieced together, the question then becomes, is this a bishop level problem or is this an entire organization problem? And the statute as it's currently worded indicates very clearly that these bishops did nothing wrong. They didn't violate the law and therefore they can't be held liable. I don't know many adults who would be able to survive what happened and not be thoroughly infuriated and, and just a mess. She came back stronger than, than anyone I've ever known. I, have, I admire her and I love her. I hope that they learn from their, from their stupid major mistakes and actually report all the illegal stuff that they do know is going on.